hello guys welcome back on my youtube channel today once again i am back with one of the new scholarship that is grip summer research internship 2025 in china and it is really fully funded you are going to explore all the details about this program with learn with nista so in this video uh, the contents that we are going to cover are details about the program then where this internship will be located and how uh, what are the financial benefits that you will be receiving and uh, which internship areas are of being offered through this program and what is the eligibility criteria that whether you are eligible or not then uh, after finding out that you are eligible then you, you need to know about the required documents that uh, must be submitted online and what is the program timeline that uh, that matches your uh, graduation or eligibility criteria or not whether you are available or not then you will be able to apply so lastly how can you apply for this program Starting with the details, but before it, I would like to request you please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more <coughs> latest useful videos. So the host country is China and the internship name uh, is being displayed to you GRIPS. Full name is Global Research Immersion Program for Young Scientists. Okay. And the location in China for the internship, there will be a certain four places, and the names are difficult to pronounce like Hangzhou, Happy, Shanghai, and Nanjing. Whatsoever you uh, just read it. So these are the uh, places uh, you can go through Google and explore all uh, the details about these places where you will be dealing with your internship period. Then the number of interns they need uh, uh, is 200 and the duration will be six weeks and the starting period will be from 23rd June 2025 this year and the benefit is that it is fully funded. Last date to apply is 9th of March 2025. So note down all these details uh, if you are interested in this scholarship applying in China uh, uh wants to join china as a center of the knowledge now what is the internship location where uh, it is being lo located so the uh, program will be hosted at this university zijiang uh, university the university of science and technology of china fudan university or nanjing university so these are the uh, few names of the university where you will be uh, participating in this program and participants uh, will be able to choose the uh, research project in which they are interested at the at one of these universities uh, like i mentioned and uh, these universities are located in these certain or specific areas uh, places locations whatever you say then financial benefits that uh, every student want to know uh, is uh, obviously the person who's going to apply for the for the scholarship uh, is somehow needy and some of uh, faces the uh, financial issues uh, and uh, also willing to explore the uh, higher educations so this program is going to cover full tuition and registration fee you don't have to pay uh, any amount for the uh, internship period uh, all the uh, costs related to it will be bared by the administration <coughs> then travel expenses will be covered uh, going there coming all the expenses whether you are going to live there and traveling by the local uh, buses or any transport system uh, these costs will be bared by the uh, grips and then uh, then accommodation will be as provided to you because uh, you are going to live in china and uh, there will be no place for you is because you are not native there 
but uh, you are a student and you are new to them so they will provide you place to live to spend your uh, time and lastly i always mention they will provide you certificate of participation that uh, you are always floating on the linkedin that i am thrilled so be always thrilled uh, and uh, but uh, don't forget to learn always try to learn uh, certificates uh, we may uh, we can get many 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 but if you know uh, if you don't know anything then this certification is nothing so uh, be prepared and uh, be ready for learning also enjoying as well but be fruitful then uh, there will be many events for you waiting uh, throughout the program this will be social and cultural activities uh, in, you, in which you will be participating and uh, coming to know about the uh, China's cultural system and their social programs, obviously. So you are going to learn many things practically. Then uh, picnics, you will be getting hiking, industrial visits. Obviously, you are going to meet with the stakeholders and chinese calligraphy classes chinese tea making sessions this is really interesting and then sightseeing excursions and many more so there are many activities there are many uh, events waiting for you to explore to learn to enjoy and uh, bring something useful to your own country and then uh, what are the internship areas you are interested you came to know about the financial benefits now you want to know that uh, whether your int uh, interest area is included in the internship area or not so here are the uh, listed uh, few areas engineering and technology so you can apply if you belong to any of the field that is related to the engineering and technology interdisciplinary science you are a science student so all other are related to science and one is related to the engineering natural science social science life science and medicine so medical and engineering fields along with social are being covered through this program and most importantly eligibility criteria who who's going to apply who is eligible to apply so this is open to all the nationals all the nationals uh, whether you belong to any country uh, like uh, uh, like india like pakistan like afghanistan like united states of america so you are eligible to apply for this you are living in one corner of the world uh, at the right side and one is at the center and another is at the left side so all are eligible to apply for this program then uh, another condition is that uh, you must be enrolled at any university uh, that is uh, offering you undergraduate or graduate program and that must be recognized university in your country and then uh, if you are undergraduate student then you must have completed at least two years of your studies so there are uh, some programs uh, which has a duration of four years some have uh, i think uh, five years so you must be senior they mean it that uh, you must have cleared two years of your studies and then uh, they are also providing the preference to the junior and senior level students as well as uh, you must possess a strong academic record uh, this is going to be uh, seen through your transcripts okay coming to us the uh, required documents first of all you have to fill the uh, application form online and then official transcript uh, to view your uh, academic record and resume showing every uh, experience uh, what the internship you have done before or what is your interested areas and uh, what languages you know all the things are briefly defined in the resume or outlined then the statement of purpose the area in which you are going to apply in this research uh, internship program in china how it motivates you how you are going to contribute uh, after joining this uh, research internship program 
all you have to mention in this statement and then uh, you have to provide one recommendation later that you can get from your institution uh, like uh, uh, any professor or any higher authority uh, at your university then you have to provide your uh, three minute self introduction video in english language okay so do, uh, don't do this in your own uh, native language like uh, you say hindi urdu or bengali but you have to use english language in video that must be professional and then if you want to make your application more strong then don't forget to provide additional supporting documents any experience that will be useful and uh, increasing your chance of selection at this program now coming to us uh, the uh, program timeline that is uh, uh, this program uh, applications closing at march uh, sorry on march 9th of 2025 and this is the obviously time where the data will be changing and the results for the program that whether you are selected or not that this will be announced uh, at march 31 and the enrollment period is going to start from april okay now you can apply for this program by visiting this website okay and the link is uh, being shown to you on the screen i will try to add this in the uh, description box and uh, uh, you can go through this if i found uh, if i got more than 100 views and 50 likes on this video i will also try to explain a whole procedure to apply for this research internship period that is being offered by china uh, for uh, several areas of internship so this was all about the uh, scholarship i hope uh, all the things are clear to you and if you feel any confusion yet you can also uh, try to ask me in comment section i will try my best to answer you to guide you as always okay so see you in next video till that take care